Hello YouTube, today I have a pretty big unboxing, probably the biggest and most expensive item I have ever purchased. So, without further ado, let's crack open this brand box and see what's inside. This is essentially replacing my 13 inch laptop. Well, not replacing it, it's going to be a companion to it for my 3D modeling, which is um, which I will be doing for my course. So let's crack into this. Yes, it is a 2015 5K iMac. I cannot contain my excitement. Sorry about that, guys. As you can see down here, we have some very nice padding which will keep the box safe. So without further ado, let's get this out of the brown box and see what we have inside. Right, let's take a quick look around the box. On the front, we have a picture of the iMac along with the new Magic Keyboard and the Magic Mouse. On the back, we have a picture of the front of the iMac along with the El Capitan wallpaper. And on the sides, we have two Apple logos. Now let's open the tape and get into this unboxing. So after tearing off the paper seal, now we can lift the top and let the front of the box fall forward. And inside we can see our styrofoam cocooned iMac. Now, in the top here, we have a, another box which contains our accessories, that being the keyboard and the magic trackpad, which is what I got mine with. So here we have Designed by Apple in California. Let's go ahead and slide that open. So here we have the magic keyboard. Here we have the magic keyboard. Let's go ahead and lift that out. Oh, wait. So this is the magic keyboard. I can already feel that the key travel is a lot less than the first Apple keyboard. Let's push that off to one side. And down here we have the new and improved Magic Trackpad 2, which now features Force Touch. Let's move that to the side for a quick sec while we see what else we get. Here we have our literature pack, which we will go through in a bit. And here we have a lightning cable, which will be, which can be used for charging the Magic Keyboard and the track, Magic Trackpad 2. So that's all we get inside this box. Now let's see what comes with the literature packet. Here we have our literature pack. Let's open that. Inside we get iMac, which is a quick start guide. Then we get our iMac info, some warranty information, Magic Trackpad 2, Magic Trackpad 2, I'm guessing in a different language, some Apple stickers, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. So let's put this all back into that box. And now we can go ahead and unwrap our accessories. So here's the lightning cable. Let's give this a quick tug and it should come free. Yep. Let's do the same thing on the other side. And there we go. Here is our lightning cable, which will be used to charge the Magic Trackpad and the Magic Keyboard. Now, let's move on to the keyboard, which is right here. It's incredibly light compared to the first version. That's probably that's basically because of the emission of the AA batteries. So let's give us a quick flip and pull off the plastic. I love that whooshing noise. And here is our magic keyboard. So as you can see, the function keys are the same size as the other keys, not like it was on the on the previous keyboard. 
and the key travel is a lot less compared to the previous keyboard but it's not as drastic as the um, new MacBook. Let's pull this off. And here is the Magic Trackpad. It's very different, it has, an, has a very nice white surface. On the back we have a lightning port, the power switch, and a cutout for the antennas. So let's get to the main attraction, which is of course the 5K iMac. So to start off, we can lift off the starter from at the top. and then we can just lift out the iMac. All right, next we have to remove this diaphragm from the side. And in the right piece, we actually have our power cord. Here we have the UK power cord. Let's quickly unwrap that. And once again here, the end is slightly angled to fit the display, to, to fit the thin display and the thin profile of the iMac. Let's move that off to the side and get to the main attraction, which is of course the actual iMac. So let's give the iMac a quick flip and take off the protective sheet. So down here, you can see we have a seal. Next up, let's remove the plastic covering the display, which is attached on all four corners, I mean, edges of the iMac. So now we can peel the plastic off down here, which covers the accessible RAM door, which is very nice that they still have that we can access the RAM. And then we can lift the plastic off the front of the computer. Before we can set it up, there's one more piece of plastic which has to be removed, which is underneath the pedestal. So here we have the ports. We have a headphone output, an SDXC card slot, four USB 3 ports, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, and a gigabit ethernet port. Beneath the hinge, we have an air vent, the RAM door, a Kensington lock, and the power connector. And on the other side of the computer, we have the power button with a small indentation so that you can find it behind the computer. So here we go. I'm going to hit the power button. And this is the first boot of the 2015 5K iMac. As you can see, it's asking me to turn on my keyboard and mouse. I don't have the new Magic Mouse. I only have the Magic Trackpad, so let's go ahead and do that. And also, it's using the updated iconography for the Magic Mouse 2 and the Magic Trackpad 2. So let's go ahead and turn on the Magic Trackpad. And also the Magic Keyboard. And we are booted into OS X El Capitan. And I can say off say from the bat that this display is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, for some reason the fan's on full blast there. Alright, I'm just gonna let it oh oh yeah, it's indexing, that's probably the problem. Okay. Let's run Cinebench. Yeah, it's indexing. Come on, I want to launch the application. What are you doing? Full 
screen. I start off by running the OpenGL test. It's loading. Wow, this is running a lot smoother than it did on my 2011 MacBook Pro. Seeing this is beautiful. We're just about done, and we get an open, C open GL score of 106.26 FPS. Now let's run the CPU test. See how fast it goes through that. Wow. Wow. This is going really fast compared to my 2011 MacBook Pro. This is insane. I don't know what I got. I think I got around 500 CB or something. Not entirely sure. Let me verify that while that's running. See how much my microprobe got. And we get 872 CV. I think I only got around 200 or something. Yeah, my microprobe got 5 frames per second and 213 CB, so there's that I should see a pretty big difference in in CPU and GPU. Speaking of that, let me quickly go to about this Mac and see what we have here. Yes, we have the 5K iMac late 2015, 4 GHz Intel Core i7, 16 gigs of 1867 MHz RAM DDR3, and the 395X graphics. The SSD is one terabyte, so let's run a disk speed test. Wow, the results are off the charts. Still going up. All right, a write speed of 1400. And a read speed, whoa, 1600. We're at 1500 for the write speed, if you round up ever so slightly, and around 1900 for the read speed. That is insane, like absolutely insane. Right, so that those were the benchmarks. Thanks a lot for watching YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.